Hey what's going on guys, PSV here and welcome to a different video and a brand new fresh series onto my channel and this is City Car Driving If you don't know what this game is, it's actually a driving simulator game for the computer It's actually a foreign game But, um, like, it's a mate, it's, a, it's the best driving sim out there, I think, that I've ever played it's just so realistic, it's unbelievable. Especially if you have the Logitech G27 or G25 where you have the clutch and the gearbox and stuff like that. It it's gonna it's flipping amazing, it's so realistic. But today I am showing you guys what this game's about. It's like kinda like a little review or like part one of like the series. And uh this is basically me just showing you what the game's all about but I am actually using I've connected up I only managed to connect it today is my Xbox 360 wired Afterglow AX1 controller so if you would like me to do a little video of how to connect a uh, controller to this game please leave comments down below if so first of all what I'm going to say about the controller review that exactly there we go I'm glad that happened I'm having a good time in this steering is still in testing program I'm still going through the settings trying to find the right setting to get it smack on perfect if you notice look I ain't got my steering on I had one touch in it then and it's drifting off see what I mean so it just needs to, and sometimes it does lose control because the steering still needs some work done to it but that's just flicking around at the settings you could be there for hours trying to do it but I just wanted to get a video for you guys out so you can have a bit of a taste of what city car driving it was all about this game is about um, 25 pound uh, or 25 dollars or whatever it's in so that's about 20 pound in English money in pounds but for seven days only, from yesterday, the 16th to, I take it, it's up to next Monday, they're doing, oh, I mean, uh, on Sunday, sorry, they're doing a bit of a Christmas special, where they're only now charging $19.99, so basically that's going to be probably about £15, so if you guys are interested in getting this game, get it now. So as you can see, I span out there, that's yet again to the steering and probably my bad driving. But the steering is literally, I haven't got my finger on it, see it's just drifting a bit, but yeah, I've, we can sort this out over time. So guys, this is just, the, what the car that I'm using is just a basic car that you get with the game like a car, one of the unlocked, unlockable cars of the game. Also, I'm going to be start doing some modded cars, because there is a way you can get mods, you can get loads and loads of cars, you can get like buses, you can get, you can get literally loads of cars, and I will be trying, I will be modding, I've never modded before on this game, so it will be a bit of a challenge, but I am going to, I'm up for a little bit of a challenge, so I'm going to mod some cars, get some cars on here and then each each part I'll be using a different car hopefully or doing some different bits and bobs within this game city car driving so this is basically me just showing you what it's like and introducing the game and introduce you to the parts so this is what I'm doing now is actually on free mode so if you just drive around as fast as you want, as slow as you want, as sensible as you want, as crazy as you want. So yeah, it's like if you want, you can stop at every traffic light. But sod that. Who does that? Well, I don't think we can go down here. Can we go down here? We can go down here. You're not meant to. But let's go and investigate. I'm just gonna take a U-turn here. It's bumped up a little bit. So here we go. So we're gonna follow that yellow van let's take a nice turn around there yep simple as so like I said my final review 
like sum this game up, it's absolutely fantastic. I give this game a 9 out of 10. The reason I'm not giving it a full 10 is because how difficult it is to sort this steering out on the controller. Because, like I said, please put down the comments below if you want me to do I will probably more than likely will do a video of me showing you how to set up the controller because it's not simple. So, yeah, and I'll just show you the general stuff you need to fiddle around with to get the controller as perfect as you can. And if, and if you get better with me, please let me know because it does annoy me that it drifts off sometimes, like there, because you end up going up curbs and stuff. So my final review on this car is basically um, the braking's pretty bad on the cars that you get with it, but with the modded cars, I have seen them and to be quite good braking, so that should put a bit of a bonus onto the series. This is cut in here. So I'm just gonna go around here, and I think we can wrap this, start wrapping the video up. Just park up here. So yeah, I think that's, we can wrap that up, let's just turn the engine off, take our seatbelt off and just have a little nice little view around the car. So this is like a pickup truck. So yeah, you see it's quite realistic. The detail on the cars is absolutely fantastic. So yeah guys, like I said, please ensure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be doing lots more parts on this and they will get more and more interesting and a bit longer and have different maybe play a bit of music in the background for you guys to just enjoy a little bit of a cruise I can do what you want if you want me to go crazy I will if you want me to be a sensible driver I will if you want me to do a bit of both in one video I will do that for you guys so like I said please ensure to give this video a like and please subscribe if you haven't already because I will be posting more city car driving for you for example like I said how to set up the Xbox 360 controllers once I've completed the mod, I will be doing how to do the mod video and mod on city car driving video for you guys. And yeah, I'll see like the parts on this. So this is part one, and thanks for tuning in today. It really does mean a lot. And hit the subscribe button. I know I said it a few times now, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.